Hi folks. Um, this is a 1948 Wurlitzer 1100. I uh, did the restoration on this about 25 years ago or so. And since then I think, I forgot, but I think I did another video about how many plays I put on it since then. It's probably a couple of thousand plays. Uh, I was in storage for several years and I pulled it out again um, a couple of years ago and got it working again. I uh, really just had to lubricate it up and that was it. Um, a recent problem I just fixed yesterday, and I should have took a video of it while I was working on it, but I didn't, was the, um, the, at the end of a song, it would cancel a record, it would try to return the tray before the turntable dropped completely to the bottom, so it was getting jammed up. Um, let me, let me play a song and I'll show you what I'm talking about, how, it's, how it works now the correct way. See, the record table drops and then the tray goes back. What was happening, it was trying to return the tray before the record table completely dropped to the bottom. Uh, that's usually an indication that it needs to be lubricated. And the funny thing is, I did lubricate it previously and I thought I hit all the correct points. But don't know if in the manual it tells you about one spot where it has to get lubricated. Uh, let me see if I can put the light on here. Okay, so this is the inside of the jukebox. So you got to make sure the, the turntable shaft, the vertical shaft, is lubricated. And it's, you know, that's an easy one to get at. And besides all the typical oil points that it shows you in the, mechan in the uh, manual, um, you have to basically look for any place where it, it makes the, it has that, uh, right there, the arm that lifts up the turntable, you can see it right there, it goes back that way. Any pivot point has to have a couple of drops of oil on it. But what I did, my problem was, way in the back along this, this one shaft. zoom spout oilers that has the uh, like a straw at the end uh, so you can get in there and drop put a few drops of oil on that shaft and then I had it work in several times and um, it started working beautifully again uh, no issues so that's it this is a Wurlitzer 1100 1948 um, restored about 25 years ago and uh, still working great. Thank you.